It's been a remarkable year for climate change. Reports, rebellions, protests. I care about climate justice and a living planet. And then a big promise. We will be ending our contribution to climate change by 2050 and legislating for a net zero emissions target. But for those tasked with monitoring our progress, it's a promise we can't currently keep. We're not even on track to meet the original, less ambitious targets. Very helpfully, we've set a new target, and that's great. But it's not some magical fix. You need to have a set of deep policies in each of the sectors that engage real people. In fact, last year, the Committee on Climate Change made 25 policy recommendations. Only one has been delivered. Ten have not even seen partial progress. While there have been successes, the power industry, for example, has moved away from coal and embraced a boom in offshore wind. Emissions from sectors like buildings have flatlined, while in aviation and transport, they've increased. New policy is needed in the next 18 months if the targets are to be reached. Petrol and diesel cars will need to be phased out, ideally by 2030. We'll need carbon capture technology, no more gas boilers, and new buildings will all need to look like this South London development. Well, you can see just how thick the walls are. Look at that. And also the windows are triple glazed. And we've also got uh, solar panels on the windows, which generate some electricity. The savings for the people that live in them really sort of speak for themselves. I mean, fuel bills are really low. Also, they're very attractive to sell. So sustainable eco-homes like this also tell to sell quite quickly. So that's quite an attractive thing for developers. There are plenty of examples to show that a low carbon existence is not just possible, but achievable. The technology does exist. But the rub of this report is that there just isn't the policy to make change happen. In short, there's a goal and a means, but just no plan. And time is running out. A government spokesman said, we know there's more to do and legislating for net zero will help to drive further action. We'll set out plans in the coming months to tackle emissions from aviation, heat, energy, agriculture and transport. <laughs> of course, all this will cost money and it won't necessarily be a vote winner. Will the next Prime Minister translate this year of pressure into policy? Helen Ann Smith, Sky News.